In today's matchday vlog, Warsaw have one of their biggest games of the season so far. Warsaw take on Litchfield RFC in a massive local derby at home. This game was action-packed, and if you know anything about local derbies, this was more than just a game of rugby. If you are new to this channel, make sure you are subscribed. And if you have been enjoying these matchday vlogs, please leave a like on this video. Let's get it to 2,000 likes. Now let's get into it. Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have got a massive game. We are playing at home against Litchfield, which is a local derby. Now, I know on my videos it seems that we've got so many local derbies, but this is a local derby. So Litchfield were in the league above last year, but they did get relegated, so now they're in our league. And the last time we played them earlier on in the season, at their place, we got smashed. There's no other way of saying it really. We didn't play our best, they played really well, and it just wasn't our day. But since then, we've been improving week on week, and today we're at home, so hopefully we're looking for a much better result today. Right, so I often get questions about what boots do I wear. Now, I've got a couple of pairs of boots, but these are the main two that I've been wearing this season, and I actually wore these ones last season as well. God, they absolutely stink. So these are my trusty materials. Uh, I don't know what these are. Well, they are Air Zoom Fly Knits. I've had these since last season and they were sick. I just love how they fit. They smell disgusting, but um, you can see here all the like black around the bottom. That's from the Astro because the AstroTurf like little bits just discolour the boot. A little bit of personalisation on there, MB. I think I'm going to be wearing these today. And then my other pair which are wrecked as well. These are Canterbury's. Now Canterbury sent me th these out at the start of the season. They're the like elite. I can't remember what they're called but apparently these are the lightest rugby boots ever made. Now they are very light and they feel good. They are not something I would normally wear but they sent me out. I thought I'd try them and I've actually worn them for quite a lot of games this season. But but you can see these are a white colour and again, the just discoloration from the Astro. They've turned all black at the bottom. I am definitely due a new pair of boots. So let me know in the comments what are your favourite boots and what boots are you wearing right now? I remember back in the day, the coppers. I used to play football. 50-50 challenge, some leather Adidas coppers or what else was there? I don't know, but they were sick. Another thing that a lot of people ask me is does the Astro turf hurt? Because you don't really see rugby played on Astro as commonly as you do on grass, which the answer is yes it kills um, if you get burns tackling getting tackled it's not very nice but to be fair you do get used to it over time and it's not as bad as when you first start but also Vaseline is a hack like if you just put Vaseline over your knees and elbows then you're pretty sweet cool yeah, buddy. This is my protein command. Citrus flavour is banging. I literally have one of these every morning. Oh, and that's just reminding me actually, my protein are having another lifting event. Their origin lifting event with Ryan Terry at Ryan Terry's new gym. So it's gonna be on the 21st of January this month. But if you do wanna come, you wanna meet me, there's gonna be loads of people there as well. I have put all the details on my Instagram. So get your tickets and um, yeah, I'll see you there. So in today's squad lineup, we have got a very strong team out with some players starting for the first time alongside a lot of players with the experience and it was looking like it's going to be a good game. So in the front row today, we have got Ben Cooper, Rich Wilson and Simon Weaver. In the second row, we've got Isaac Marlowe and Callum Hoy. In the back row, we've got Lucas Cottrell and James Tomelio and George Perkins, the captain, at eight. And then in the backs today, we've got Mitch Carlos at nine, Ben Pitt at ten, Adam Nunney and Rob Angel in the centres, me and Jeff on the wings and Hanson Christopherson at fallback. Right, so kicking off into the first half. Good little take there from Lucas who takes that in. Um, and an exit from Ben. Goes straight to that eight. Then I tackle him and straight into the action. And a 10 point another kick through which Hansen takes um, and takes that into contact himself. Now straight from the off, this was going to be a very intense game. Both teams were really psyched up for this um, and it was intense from the off. Some great carries there from Litchfield. However, Warsaw get a scrum and with the first scrum absolutely dominating, pushing them back um, and a very good scrum for Warsaw at the start. Comes out to Ben. Ben then gets on the outside, gets that across to uh, Jeff, who Jeff unfortunately does get tackled out, which Litchfield take the line out quickly. A 13 taking that in. Isaac with the tackle there. Then Litchfield now playing in their own half with a few carries from their forwards. Then they go wide, comes out into their winger, who Winger steps inside, um, carries that in himself. Then Litchfield still on the attack in their own half. Great tackle there from Callum to dislodge the ball. Warsaw do get a scrum. 
So another scrum now for Warsaw, and we do get a penalty, which Ben puts in the corner. Lovely kick there from Ben. Warsaw with the line out now, great take from Lucas um, with the catch and drive, but Litchfield defend that very well. Um, and now we are back there for a scrum. Ben with the switch into Nunny, Nunny crashing that up. Then with some quick ball, Ben spots a gap, puts a little kick through to put Litchfield under pressure in the corner. Litchfield line out now, it's tapped forward into their seven. Seven runs on the outside. Isaac with a big shot there, which was high, but the ref didn't give a card because he was already falling in the tackle. So now after a morsel scrum, Rob just taking that in himself. Big crash ball, comes out to George, George crashing at him, then Coop's taking it in, then Callum Hoy, Warsaw building phases, edging into the 22, gets an offload into George, George taking that in, then some quick ball, comes over the top to Rob, Rob takes that in, but unfortunately loses the ball, which I just pick up and take that in myself. Then the ball comes out to Ben, into Callum. Callum just taking that in with a few defenders with him. Then out to Ben, Ben steps on the outside, gives that pass out to Nunny. Nunny into James. So James is on the outside, gives it to Hansen, and Hansen runs around for Warsaw's first try, which Mitch with the conversion, nice and easy. So a very good start for Warsaw to get the first score. Now Litchfield with a tap and go penalty. Rich Wilson with a massive hit there um, on our line to defend and keep us in and we also do manage to get the turnover. Litchfield line out now and a great take from them with catch and drive. Eight comes out the back, runs into Lucas and James with a big tackle there. Then coming back on that blind side um, and then just crashing it in. And Warsaw again winning the penalty. So Warsaw scrum now comes out into Nunny. Nunny just breaking through tackles. He's found the line. He's got some space, but they do catch up and tackle him there. Then Ben puts a little chip through, but it goes into their 15, who then steps back inside. Then Litchfield on the attack on the blind side. Hanson with a big tackle there. Um, however, Litchfield still on the attack in their own half. Um, some good carries from their forwards here just to get outside of their own first, their own half. They then look to spread it wide, um, 13 taking that in, and then spreading it wide again, Nunny with a big shot there on the 10, dislodges the ball into Rob. Then go on that blind side again, Nunny just brushing off the tackles, taking that in. Then we jack it, comes to Ben, Ben out the back to Rob. Rob steps back on the inside, big bosh there taking a couple of defenders with him and then back on the blind side again into Coops. Coops carrying that in. Another strong carry there from Isaac and then we look to spread it a little bit wider. Ben takes that himself but gets tackled. George picks it up as it does come out the back and then George taking that in. However, Litchfield do get the penalty which their seven taps and goes. Goes quickly, runs through. Ben gets the tackle there and he does lose the ball so it comes into Isaac then we're on that blind side Callum just crashing that in gets the offload into Mitch Mitch taps it up into Ben into Lucas Lucas then just taking that in Warsaw attacking now in their 22 Ben spreads it wide but unfortunately Litchfield get the interception get an offload into their 12 12 spreads it wide into their 15 15 runs on the outside and he is clear and he goes in for a try under the posts. So very unfortunate for Warsaw to concede that interception there and they do get the conversion. Warsaw kick off now, Lucas with a great take. We do secure the ball, comes back into Callum, Callum crashing at him, then it comes back, but we do lose the ball. Um, now Litchfield on the attack, they put a kick through over the top, Jeff takes it quite nicely, runs back inside, takes that into contact. Unfortunately then we do lose possession as they turn over the ball. Then they look to spread it wide, uh, comes out to their 13. He's got a three on one there with me, but then because some great inside defense from Nunny, and um, the boys catch up and we do manage to tackle them literally five meters out. Some more big shots there from the boys, but then they do spread it wide again, comes into their 12 who steps inside, gets through the tackles, gets the offload, and Litchfield go again for another try, which they also do convert. So a couple of minutes later now, Litchfield on the attack in their own half, comes out to their 12, um, and another great turnover there from Warsaw. Callum gets that, gives it into Bash. Bash taking that in himself. Then comes back out to Callum. Callum's crashing that in, gets the offload into Rob. Rob's running through the middle. A couple of minutes later then with the scrum, comes out the back into Hansen. Hansen takes that in does get double tackle, but then comes back out to Ben, into Jeff, Jeff's got some space on the outside, but they do tackle him there. The ball is then lost, uh, but some great reactions from Bash to jump on that ball. 
Isaac then crashing that in, comes out wide to Ben, into Callum. Callum crashing the ball, Warsaw really building some phases now in their 22. Another switch line from Rob, but unfortunately he does knock that ball on and then knock it out of his hands. So scrum now for Litchfield, 8 picks it, gives it to their 12, 12 takes it in. Then they put a kick over the top, Hanson with a good take, um, he steps on the inside, unfortunately loses the ball on the boot, but then they put a kick through, um, which Ben chases back, picks that up himself then does get caught in the tackles however the ball comes quickly out to rob rob finds some space he's got a gap there takes it himself but does get tackled then he comes on that blind side george crashing it in goes down gets back up but it is called back for a penalty so litchfield penalty now the 10 decides to switch kicks it down towards me which then the bounce is a bit awkward but i do regather that go to kick but then step on the outside past their winger and then take that into contact myself. To be fair, if I'd have kicked that, I definitely would have shanked it. Um, and we do actually win a penalty, which Ben kicks it and puts us in safety. However, it is knocked forward, and that is the first half done. So first half was intense. It was kind of end to end. Both teams really building a lot of phases, and the score was pretty even. A very good start for Warsaw, to be honest. We were dominating a lot of this half, attacking very well and defending well. But I think we were quite unfortunate with giving away the interception, and they did also get another try. So going into the second half now, we know we really need to ramp things up if we do want to win this game. So it's a Warsaw scrum now, comes out into Ben. Ben spreads that wide into Nunny. Nunny then, a bit of a loose pass. Me and Hansen don't know who's getting it, but Hansen picks it up, then gets the offload into me. It's a bit of a loose one. I try and step outside, brush one of their players off, and just take that in myself. Then goes back to Ben. Ben kicks it out, but it does go into their fullback. Fullback then looking to open it up, spreads it wide into their winger. Winger steps on the outside. Um, good tackle there from Rob. And then they take it in again, but a lovely turnover from Warsaw, and we do get the penalty. Mitch goes for the post to try and get those extra three points, but unfortunately just doesn't have the length, and it goes into their fallback, but it goes dead. So with the 22 dropout now, they do kick it into Ben. Ben finds a little bit of space, kicks that through. The winger is chasing it back. He taps it back into play to keep it in. Um, he's chasing it back, a good chase from Ben to force them to kick that out. So Warsaw line out now, goes into Isaac. Isaac with the take. Warsaw now with a catch and drive. Um, and Warsaw just edging on and on. But unfortunately we do give away that turnover so literal line out now good take and they're attacking just coming into our half um, uh, then they do look to spread it wide comes out the back into their winger winger steps inside um, but he does get held up in contact here lucas and nunny just holding him up and Warsaw do get the turnover there. However, a couple of minutes later now, Litchfield with a scrum, um, some good little backs moves here to get on the outside. 15 puts a lovely kick through to put some pressure on us. Warsaw line out and Litchfield do secure it. Litchfield then crashing it up, Warsaw just defending for their lives on their own line. Um, some good tackles there from the boys, but they do go back on that blind side with some good hands from their eight, gets the pass off to the winger and the winger goes in for a try. But they do miss that conversion. Version. So another Warsaw scrum now, um, comes out the back into Ben, Ben into Nunny, Nunny but the ball does go loose, Ben picks it back up, gets a pass over to me, I've got some space outside, I get around their centre, I've got so much space on the inside but for some reason I went on the, the smallest space possible to step in and the fullback tackled me, I should have just stepped inside there but the fullback did do very well so fair play. Line out now for Litchfield, a good take there but Warsaw do get the turnover. So so the scrum option, Mitch gives it to Nunny, but the ball is a bit loose. Nunny does drop it, Ben kicks it. I then regather it, get on the outside, but it's called back there for a knock on. So Litchfield scrum, uh, 13 then takes that in. Litchfield on the attack now, and they're eight, then taking that in. Another great tackle from Corey. Ball does go loose into Rob. Rob puts a little dink through. I did not think Rob had that in the locker, and they're forced to kick it out. Warsaw line out now, but unfortunately, it's given away to Litchfield, literally on their five meters and their nine puts a box kick over the top. Warsaw now on the attack. Ben puts a little chip over the top. Can he get it? He 
just about misses it, but he does get the tackle and also forces a knock on. So it's a Warsaw scrum now. Comes from Callum into Mitch, Mitch into Hansen. Hansen steps on the outside. He's literally five meters out, but just gets tackled. Uh, another carry there from Callum. He's literally one meter out. And we do also get a penalty. So with the scrum there, comes out to Rob. Rob takes that in, literally a couple of meters out. Comes out to Callum and Callum muscles his way over with four defenders to get the try. And Mitchie, nice and easy with the conversion. So, Litchfield kickoff now comes into Corey. Corey steps on the outside, takes that in, but Litchfield do get the turnover, which causes a penalty. They go for posts and they do get the three points. So not a very good response, literally just after scoring. So Litchfield now putting a kick over the top into Adam. Adam then takes that. Uh, he does slip, so he goes down, but he holds himself up, waits for the support. And then Warsaw still on the attack. Ben puts a kick over the top, put in there nine under pressure on with the chase. And he does go to kick and absolutely spanners it about five meters out. So Warsaw now with the line out. A great take from Lucas. Mitchy into Ben. Ben into Callum. Callum taking that in. Quick ball then. Ben gives it nice and wide into Hansen. Hansen then taking that in himself. Then coming back on the inside into Cooper. Cooper takes that in. Driving him on with Matty James. We jack it then go on the blind side. Comes into Bash. Bash takes that in. But unfortunately, we give away a turnover. So Litchfield now on the attack. They're 14 again, stepping through some of the tackles. Litchfield now entering our 22, uh, the centre taking that in. Another big shot from Lucas, um, and Litchfield just edging their way closer and closer into our 22. The eight now carrying that in, Warsaw just defending as much as they can on our line. Litchfield now with a line out, um, and they do just about get caught short again. Building the phases, but it's looking like a good defensive set from Warsaw. Um, some big tackles from the boys. However, with the tackle there from Lucas, he does dump tackle him over the line. So they score there and they do get the conversion. So Warsaw kick off now. Great take there from Lucas to regather the ball and take that in himself. Then he comes back out to Coops. Coops takes that in. Then out to Isaac. Isaac crashing that in. Then with some quick ball, comes out to Ben. Ben with the dummy switch into Rob. Rob then passes it into Hansen. Hansen passes it to me. A little touch up from my foot. I get on the outside and we've got a try. Oh, I felt good to be back on the try sheet. I thought I'd messed it up, but literally with a lucky touch up off my foot, I got the try. I do not think I could do that again if I tried. Mitchie with a conversion and he gets it from the corner. So it's really close now, but there's not long left of this game. Um, Litchfield on the attack in our half, throwing it around, and Warsaw just frantically defending, trying to get something out of this game. Um, but Litchfield on the attack, playing the ball into their winger, out the back, steps inside, but does take that in himself. There's literally eight points in this game, there's not long left. So scrum now for Litchfield, comes out into their nine, out to their 10. Another back's moved out to their 15, and the 15 puts us in the corner again. But Warsaw with the line out, Ben gets on the outside, gets the pass off to me. I step one of them, step back on the outside. I thought I had Hanson with me, but I passed it to their 15. Luckily, I get back, recover that tackle, and then Litchfield do regain possession, and they do attack for another couple of minutes. The ball is pretty loose. It's like frantic. Everyone's running around, trying to just keep possession of this ball. Um, their nine then puts a kick, which I'm chasing back, uh, and the ball does go dead. But unfortunately, Warsaw had run out of time, and that was the game done there, 29-21. So a very unfortunate loss for Warsaw at home. I think we definitely deserve to get something out of this, whether it was the losing bonus points or the win itself. But nonetheless, both teams play very well. Well done to Litchfield for getting that win. And yeah, we have a free week this week, so there won't be any match day vlog, but we will be back the week after. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So from me and another match day vlog, I'll see you in the next video.